Okay, well, welcome to Cooking with Surfer, episode 9. Now tonight we're going to do a quick one, because you know I'm sort of tired, it's been a long couple of nights, you know, I uh, got up early today, and so we're just going to cook something nice and quick. Now, I've been saying, this tuna, last time we cooked the bacon carbonaras with tuna, we didn't have any of this tuna. And this is really the tuna you want to use with it. This is the best tuna. You got the clover leaf chunk white tuna, responsibly sourced. It's line caught. So they caught each one of these tunas on a line, like just with a regular fishing rod. And then they cut the, that tuna into pucks. And you'll really see that when I open it up. Now, to start, so you're going to want to get your pot. You want to get about a, about a medium, mid size pot, you know, mid to large size pot. But I find that the wider the pot, the more surface area you have on the bottom that heats up. So the quicker it will cook the bacon carbonara. And you know, that's nice tonight because we're sort of tired. So that's pretty nice. The sim says, Yas, Queen. <laughs> Yas. Apparently, people are spurging out. They're saying that Jim is live and we need to shut down the show. But uh, fuck them. Is Jim even stream live anymore? I don't know. Let's let's have a quick look. Where at is Jim stream? I don't know. Is Jim on fucking... He's on YouTube there streaming, is he? Chat doesn't think we can compete. They, they, they don't think we can compete with base, with base Daddy Jim. Jim doesn't even stream on YouTube anymore, does he? I didn't think so, because he couldn't get fucking Super Chats. Oh, he's got a secret weather stream. Ooh. Not even on. Yeah, he's not even streaming now. It's just a field report. Jim's out in the field collecting weather data, you know, he's not actually streaming. You fags. So you know we're gonna cook we're gonna cook this line caught tuna with the bacon carbonara as quick as we can. Weather warfare is over. It's victory day. Oh sounds like Jim's winning. Susan paid me my motherfucking money. Susan paid him his money. To so I guess you need to get horizon. some water. I'm trying to save you some trouble. Oh yes, you want to. I clawed my way back. I'm like a, a disgusting infection that the antibiotics just hey. can't get rid of. No, it's about right. two cups of water. Once again. In the bottle of water. A website known as YouTube. The land of a... But you don't quite want to spill it. Because once again, that's how you get it a bit frothier with the milk. There you cup with the milk. You know, and it might work. But realistically, I like to fill it up as much as I can with the milk. Because it's... They're saying it's Boff really crippled the uh, viewership of Cooking with Surfer. But fuck you, Jim. You sell out faggot. I hate you, Jim, and, you know, it's no longer family-friendly here on Cooking with Surfer. People are asking that we turn up the gym soon. If you talk about too much in video form on YouTube, turn it back down. Turn it back down. If you went too hard on YouTube... Uh, we're gonna like watch. We're gonna watch Jim after. Jim's gonna interrupt my cooking if we turn it up too loud, you know. And magical number is. Gotta stay focused on the bacon carbonara. So, two videos, three videos, four. You get another bag of milk because we need just that last little bit of milk in the measuring cup. Dedicate themselves to Onisia. There, there, fine. Let me shake it up. 10 to 20 videos on him. You're, you're probably going to fall within the realm of getting spanked. We need some scissors now to cut the milk open. Oh, so naughty. We go. Because, I mean, you could cut the milk with a knife. You could. But it gets sort of jagged up here in Canada if you cut the milk with a knife. I mean, you put the you in YouTube. 
So you want to get your scissors. There is no you. And cut it, and it cuts your nice and straight. When I say them, I mean the corporate overlords that are trying to take over. They want the brim there. That's about it. Oh, and of course there. You see, this is real YouTube content, not like Jim's lazy stream that he's putting together there. What's Jim gonna talk? But you dirty plebeians! He's crying about an easy on or something. Don't you dare start. So you want to be careful. You know when I look at my list of the people I'll just give my. Rinse out the, the measuring cup, and then I don't have to wash it. Because I don't imagine that they're going to last very long. Yeah, I watch a lot of uh, games like C or uh, oh, what Arlo. So a whole puppet that talks about Nintendo. Of course, it's a Jim has only subscribed to puppets that talk about Nintendo. Thank you, Rusty Show for the else is watching the Jim stream. Uh, normally here on Cooking with Surfer, we can at least get 10 people, even at the darkest days. But, you know, this is Jim just destroying the independent content creators on YouTube. Well, at least we still got Rusty Schofer, the proud patriot, Rusty us through on Cooking with Surfer. So, while this boils, I'm just going to open up my sidekicks, and I'm going to lick out the lid. Because you got lots of good stuff in there in the, the top of them. Rusty Shilford feels proud to be half of the viewing audience. We have uh, two viewers, and one of them has even liked the stream. You know. The bacon carbonara is powder. And we have Nassim Agdam. So, you know, three whole and the only thing that Excel is going to comment is to review Breakfast Club. Uh, what an incredible stream. Yeah, well, we got a little bit more time before that boils. So I'm going to take some time to wash off my lint. Because you never know it's in the factories. And we've been getting mice lately. Anderil is asking, Surfer, have you learned that Willow is a boy yet? Willow is a boy? It makes me really uneasy. Who's uh, Willow? Willow is in um, was in Ralph's Discord. Willow is trying to set up a mod fight between me and Ralph. Willow is going to help coordinate that. We've received another request to review the Breakfast Club. I did think Willow would, would be a boy. Oh, uh, Willow is the only female in Ralph's Discord. The only female that so many of my viewers would rather be at the gym stream uh, I agree you know I thought my viewers were smart enough not to watch Jim but I guess they're all just a bunch of fucking tards so Jim doesn't even have any principles that's the guys, right the guy's back streaming on YouTube you know, he should be somewhere else and be monetized you know well Rusty show for who wears dress in time. Uh, you might have missed, so we use the can opener, can opener to open the. Why is it doing this? Do we get stricken by Jim? Jim is currently trying to destroy the channel. So he can get our last two viewers. He's uh, lagging us out. Um, Fuck you, Jim. This is the, the rebellion here. The, the viewers of true patrician taste. The only two people left on earth who aren't slobbering retards. Well, I just tried to lick the tune off the lid and I spilt it on the ground. Anderil says the stream is lagging so bad. So bad. Well, Jim's trying to strike us down. But if Jim strikes us down will become even more powerful than he can possibly imagine. I'll cry about it in the YouTube comments section for the next five years. Now, look at this. Look at this. Quick, quick, quickly. You see? Because I left it so long, some of the milk, it, it burned. It created a nice crust. You can see that crust around in from the milk on the bottom of the pan, and now I'm scraping it all up. Is it similar to the gunt crust? Well, no. 
you'd think that the burnt milk would be a bad thing. But the reality is, oh, we gotta be nice and quick, gotta be ready. It just, it adds a bit of color. It adds a bit of an added color to the noodles. And it makes them even better. Is it gonna go over the edge? No, but you watch it and you wait till just the right moment. This is another reason why you want to use a big pot, so you can really get it to boil up there and get nice and frothy. Because it makes a real good sauce when it's nice and frothy like that. You ought to get sand for them. And then you, you just, if you see if you really rub, rub the inside of the bag against itself, well you can get out all the, all the flavor. So you want to do that with both of these. Doesn't Jim know that 2 in the morning is the cooking with Sir for time slot? Who does he think he is? Jim needs to figure it out. Yeah, he needs to get it together. I'm going to stir it up. There was, there's no reason to have it, you know why? Because I could go on YouTube and watch whatever the fuck I want. And after doing Don't that, step in the two night I drop. It's always weird, out. kind of the baby steps you find yourself taking Ooh. when you get into video content. Rusty Shelford asked for a movie. Oh, I got it off of, uh... If you're comfortable doing that, you start spending more time there rather than watching television. The you know, I can't even, started. I can't even remember exactly. I bought it from this girl named Andy. It's a girl named Andy that lives somewhere close by. I don't know. Someone pointed out to me like a face. It might have been a Facebook ad. It might have been a Kijiji ad. But I feel like it was a Facebook ad. Or something like that. It's nice. It's to drink a lot of Red Bull. My peak, I was doing a mid-sized one and then a four-pack of small ones every day. Every day. That was the peak, you know? You shouldn't drink Red Bull. You shouldn't drink five Red Bull a day. Well, you shouldn't drink any. Wow, you got to drink one a day. How would you rate Anna Kasparian on a scale of one to ten, sir? Good question. Gay! Anna is a gross, disgusting Anna's slag got, of a woman. Anna's got the perfect size and nose, you know? And Bullshit! Bullshit! No, I'm on a serious note, Anna is a really good looking woman. Oh. I'd probably rate Anna. Well, we have one viewer eight left. Out of five. Well, or smash your pass, Anna Kasparian. And now we are down to zero viewers. Golden Knight did it. He fucked us. There's zero, there's zero viewers. Looks like... They've got to be out there somewhere, you know. They just haven't found it, you know. But, you know, if we just keep putting the content out there... Surfer, due to criminally low viewership numbers. Like, because you didn't watch. You didn't care enough. But no! No, Daddy PPP! They don't, they're not even... How do they... The inside of the bag. You gotta lick that fucking bag for our one viewer who's here now. Lick that fucking bag. And Darrell says it's because of the lot of flavor on the inside of the bag there. You go lick it there, sir. For Sargoy is fired up for you to lick it. Sargoy is a man of taste. He's not at the gym stream like everyone else. This is a bag of taste. Nassim says, you Surfer know? has the salesman attitude. They got to be out there. We just got to find them. Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> this year, to qualify for the filter on the main line because the chlorine and the calcium. I just got to check the main line. Oh, I don't even remember the pitch. What did they do? Do you remember the pitch? Yeah. They talked about the pitch. It's just about the water. What's happening for some of the homes in the neighborhood? They're being provided a filter off the main line to get rid of the chlorine and the calcium. I'm sure you've heard about that. I just got to make sure you qualify. There's some issues with some. I just got to make sure you qualify. You want my shoes on or off? The, um, the issue is not everyone's compatible because of the, uh, the shut off and the. Um, no matter what you say, you just gotta say it a little bit better than that. <laughs> yeah, you can't just be dropping bricks. Because of the uh, 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 scam! <laughs> what are you doing on my porch? 
You fucking brick. You'll never sell anything. Get a real job, you bum. <laughs> That's exactly what would happen if I fucked up to someone's door and I sounds like that. Yeah, Jim's mad because Jade is watching Surfer instead of him and asking for fly checks. Yeah, Jade's in the chat. Jade is in the chat right now. You know, when PPP was streaming the Chapter 3 a day the rope today I went and I took a pee and then I didn't do my fly up and I almost came out through the fly check with my fly down well that would have been some incredible content there surfer and everybody wishes you had I'm sure nobody's gonna even watch this fucking program because daddy Jim is God they only have time for daddy Jim I'm gonna go back on his bitch shoot account watch fucking the wings of redemption that's right Jade's gonna come over here and suck Fuck your cock. So is April. Spoonie's fuck now. Who's April? Spoonie's ex-girlfriend now. Spoonie's lost his girlfriend. And he's just sitting in the darkness now. Having lost everything. Screaming. Yeah, it's just about the water. You see, some of the holes are being provided with the filter right off the main line. Is the corner. The calcium. Now she is. Not everyone can have it because of compatibility. Do you know what the um? Do you know what the, the filter will fit for you? I'll tell that officer. Do you want me to take my shoes off or leave them on? Oh, I'm not interested. Oh, I know. <laughs> Merks! Merks on the not interested objection. Literally the easiest one. Fuck! It's over. We're never gonna make it. I know, it's, it's not about that. We're just making sure the filter is going to be compatible at the main line. Don't want me to take my shoes off or leave them on. Stewie, if you're watching, please, Stewie, save us. Joel, it's real tough. Stewie! Stewie, we're having to do a YouTube cooking show for four viewers. We don't even get super chats, Joel. It is sort of tough, you know? But so you can see here, nice, they got a nice tinge to them. Nice tinge. With the burnt milk in there. Razma, they're the four heroes. And the Sim has let us know that Tonka has AIDS. Now we're up to five viewers, which has been the peak so far tonight. And, you know, that's that's just nice that we're up to five viewers. So real patriots. You know? Now, look at this tuna. This is the best tuna you can get for the bacon carbonara. And with the burnt milk, it's going to make a real nice tinge. So you want to get the two pucks of the tuna in there. And you can really see how they caught this fish on a line. And then they cut it into the pucks. So, now that we got the tuna in there, because this is a real chunk tuna now, you got to break it up a little bit. You just break her around. You just break her around like that. You chop her up a little bit. Yes, Sargo. He's using the amazing tuna he kept talking about. It's the line caught clover leaf chunk tuna. Yeah, it's unreal, Sargo. It's the best tuna you can get. This tuna right here. When you make bacon carbonaras, you want to get this one. Make sure it's the one that says line caught on it with like the nice maroon color. Or it says chunk like tuna. Say that's not possible. Just unreal stuff. Okay, are, so good. Breaking news. We are up to six whole viewers. Uh oh, we got the line, line caught tuna right now. Oh, up to seven. Can we get to ten tonight? No, it's back down to six. It's over. Jim has cuckled at us. Except I've cuckled at Jim because Jade off camera is sucking my cock. You know, PPP, it's... It's what Stewie would call addition by subtraction, you know? You know, we're down to only the viewers who are actually legitimate viewers, who are good, good, legit viewers that we want. You know? Burning off the dead wood. The whole team performs better because there's less of a resource drain from the dead wood. Oh, and watch a gym live stream? You know, they're better off fucking dead. <laughs> We don't want those type of viewers. We don't want the cuckold fucking Mr. Radiker audience who sit there and lick fucking Jim's bag and fucking buy hats like Golden Knight. No, if you're going to lick a bag, you should be licking the inside of the bag of the, the bacon carbonaras. Wow! He's got to get every... But he got fucking... Oh my god, he's got super chats. Oh boy! 
80 percent of the stream is fucking super chats i hope all you medica fans are enjoying your fucking super chat readings Woohoo! high quality content from the fucking master am i salty no jim just took fucking 75 percent of my audience she goes to show 75 percent of my audience are cuckled faggots and that's what makes me actually sad not that jim jim stole my audience but that my audience could be swayed by such faggotry it's tough. Well, 75 divided by 3 is 25. And because each member is five times this episode of Cooking the Server. Yeah! I'm positive. Woo! Fucking based. So, you just want to keep stirring it up. I'm telling you, people who aren't in the chat now, they are going to be purged. They're going to be permanently banned from the channel. I I gonna remember who wasn't here. I remember that only Anderil, Sargoy, and Rusty Shelford and the Sim and Razmaz were legit. Everybody else sucks. Now I'm thinking ahead. So what I'm gonna do? Because I'm gonna end up eating my half of the bacon sourdough out of the pot. So because I'm gonna be scraping them off the bottom, I'm gonna need the short. Shorter forks. I got two legs forks, but the shorter the fork, the easier it is to really get in there with the fork. So I'm going to use the shorter fork to eat the rest, the remainder of the tuna. That's the only explanation I can come up with. Luciferian Playboy is here, and he's saying that you're saving the plates, and that's nice. You're a smart man. Luciferian Playboy knows that he doesn't want to listen to Jim Reed's super chats. He knows that that's going to be pretty gay and unentertaining. Even though Jim's going to say it in a smug affection to indicate how smart he is. But no worries. We're just watching the trash fire burn. Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm a narcissist. I can't put up funny stuff anymore. I think that's pretty much obvious. Guys, please buy my hats. I know damn people selling hats before in Teespring stores. Yeah, they're nice hats, buddy. Oh, they're so high quality. Golden Knight bought one. Didn't you know that? They have a fucking shit. I ought to just fucking get you right in the bag, surfer. <laughs> what do you think? You think Jim's hats are more aesthetic than Anna's nose? I don't think either of them are aesthetic. He literally has flopping dicks just hanging around. If you want to see dudes with their dicks flapping in the world. You know? <laughs> the only thing that fires me up more than Anna Kasparian's nose is fake goldies, leather forehead. <laughs> No, on a serious note, I think Faith's a really good surfer. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to be... Well, you know, up here in Canada... Oh, we're know. up to 10 viewers briefly! Yay! We did it! Mission accomplished! He's like that, you know? Strange Daddy Jim, you know? We failed. We got up to 10 viewers anyhow. Jim's been defeated. Times back here, surfer. Where does surfer think Jim would be in life without... Nassim says he'd rather watch PPP Buffer than Jim. That's pretty based. You know, that's probably the most based thing I've heard all day. So you can see here, we're, this tuna really stays in chunk form, even as you... It's starting to look really good. Really good. Moist Wang is saying that you cleaned it. What, the stove? You know, I didn't clean the stove. It doesn't look the same unless you have this part, but I got it covered up. Because when I cook the bacon carbonaros, here's another thing. I use one, one side of the inside of the bacon here, to sit them down, because the spoon gets really moist. And the moist, it will pick up what's on the stove. Now, Razmaz asked, how are you going to divide the chunks of tuna? Oh, I, I cut them up with the spoon. I, sh I showed you guys that, you know? They're all divided up in there already. As it, as you stir them, they might even break up a little bit more. But I don't want to break them up too much more than this. You know, oh, it's um, asking if our modem is filled with cumin. The modem, like through the internet. Yes. Uh, maybe. Sargoy said. You give the ground crew into the chat. It clogs up the modem, you know, and part of the transmission. You know, maybe that's just the issue. Maybe that's the issue. 
in the base fly jack. Look, I got I got a zipper all the way down to my fly today. And you know what I noticed? If you look at the zipper, it says YKK, like Y2K. So this sweater must have come from year 2000. I don't have any hope. Whoa! I noticed that today, you know? I was looking at it, you know? I was sitting in the chair there, and I was looking at it, and it caught my eye. And I was thinking of that. Fly check so powerful, it destroys the buffer. So you just want to keep stirring up your baking carbonaris. It's the high level energy radiating from the surfer cock. You can see they're getting nice and thick now. Sargo, I have ever got kicked out of a Tim Hortons my balls with this other guy. It's the size of his balls. And the Tim Hortons staff, they called the police on us. And the police showed up because <laughs> they had her balls out in the parking lot. Oh, you know, that's the only time I ever got kicked out of a Tim Hortons. Because they didn't have my frosted cinnamon roll and they didn't have any turkey bacon clubs. No but turkey bacon clubs. So I told them, well, what the fuck do you expect me to do? <laughs> you know, and it was like three and three and one. It was pretty degenerate. Now, Name Name has told us that every zipper has YKK on it because one company in Japan makes 99.9% .9 of the world's zippers. Is that true? I don't know. I don't know why we'd come up with that if, you know, I didn't know. <laughs> Luciferian Playboy has said that Timmy's is trash. Yeah. It's pretty bad there. Oh, especially when you go that late at night. Sargoy says this buffering. One minute he's stirring the tuna, next thing he's talking about is balls. <laughs> yeah. No, he's, he caught that part, Sargoy. So you can see here now our sauce is getting real thick. I'm probably going to put some butter in there. Public oh, oh, there's no so butter. Oh, no. The stream is fucked. There is this is a tough moment, guys. So there's no butter, you know, and you're, you're, well, maybe not Tulsi Gabbard because they all think the butter is what you really want to use for the baby carbonaris, especially when you're using a tuna, is right just as that. But because we're sort of left with no other option here. We're going to have to venture into the back of the fridge. We're going to journey right to the rear of the fridge here. To the I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. I can't. I can't believe it's not butter. I'm going to throw this one in. Now they have a... Yeah, this one I'm just throwing out. And if you say that she's fat in the comments, you're going to get banned. And they're going to take it a step further. I don't know how many people remember when Jordan Peterson had his stuff taken down. We're going to open this new one. His Gmail account too. You got to be careful with that. I can't That's believe it's not butter. It's YouTube. better than normal butter. It's, it's fucking terrible. It's, it's awful for butter. you. It looks like plastic. You know? Well, it's one particle away from plastic. <laughs> one molecule or some shit like that. Yeah. Chat, look at it. Can you believe it's not butter? Nobody can believe it. Chat knows that that's fucking butter. Ree! Surfers fucking reeing about it and being out of butter, you know? It rattles my cage and there's no. I gotta use I can't believe it's not butter. Jim's so angry that I've stolen nine viewers from his fucking stream that he's trying to false flag it right now and getting copyright warnings. So, when you're forced to use that I can't believe it's not butter or a margarine, you got to get about a tablespoon of it. You know, this is a nice, nice... Moist Wang says he can't believe it's not microplastics. Well, it, it is microplastics, you know? Don't worry about it. Just a crazy... Razmaz says the bad thing is there are even knockoff versions of that butter. I don't know, you tell me. In quotation. That's terrible. You know, it, you, Could you imagine you buying a knockoff version of I can't believe it's yeah, not? <laughs> you know, like, what's wrong with you if you're going to buy a knockoff version of I can't believe it's not? Like, just don't use anything. You know, I mean, God just don't use it. Cake. You may as well uh, jerk yourself off to Climax and use that as the butter at that point. <laughs> you may as well. 
Sargoy Sargoy says Sargoy says he buys the knockoff version of it. I can't believe it's not No, he doesn't. And he says I'm gonna keep buying it. You know, no one says that seriously. That's obviously an ironic comment. I don't know, Sargoy. Defend your purchasing choice, you homo. Hard and factual truth. That we are a slip like, look at the way it, it comes down. off the screw, you know, like, oh, well, here we go. <laughs> so now we're going to stir in our, I can't believe it's not butter. You know, we're going to stir it in there. See, now we're going to have to do a third stream on the carbonaras with actual butter in it. That guy was my cage. He's gonna save us. It's not the end of the world, though. The, the difference in taste won't really be that different in the grand scheme. It's just not really that good for you anymore. So you got, they can't believe it's not butter instead of the butter. You see, butter is really healthy for you, but I can't believe it's not butter. It's, it's pretty bad for you. The government's not going to step in and stop it. These companies are going to do whatever the fuck they want. Let me monitor the situation. I'll, I'll sign something when I get to it. Can Jews put butter on meat? I, I just don't so. know. I don't think so. I think there's like dairy or something. Like, can you juggle? Can you juggle? I think that's yeah. why they invented margarine, to be honest with you. Jim doesn't have any topic. He's just phoning it in for super chats, boys. Let's get real. So you just want to stir really well while you're putting your butter or your, or your margarine in. Make sure you get it all melted and spread around in there. Try to bang off the, bang off the edge of the spoon. And you know... It's about time to turn the heat off. You can see, you see, you know, I'll get the light with my phone and I'll show you guys. I'm not sure what Sargon's been up to. I followed the UKIP campaign and that ended in a fucking disaster. And that's you see how it, it almost sort of breathes now. You know, like, as it bubbles, the whole thing moves. You know? You know, it's actually worse now that you've shot the light on. Now they're the they're wondering, did you add syrup? No, there's no syrup in the dang carrier. Or ground cumin. There's no ground cumin today. Sargoy is saying that's just water leaving syrup. And he put a dot. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. But that's how you know that they're done. Because when the water leaves, when it evaporates out and the sauce isn't thick yet, it just evaporates out in bubbles. But I don't know if you could really see it through the camera. But like the actual, the whole thing moves. Instead of just bubbles, because of the surface tension, because of the thickness of the sauce, it moves all the noodles and everything. So yeah, the whole, the whole mass pulsates up. You know, so it is water evaporating out. But you know, instead of just... In it's bubbles, it's, it's through pulsation. Sargoy says he sees. That's how you know it's done. And then you want to stir out some of the heat, you know. You just, you, you Luciferian Playboy says you have created life, sir. <laughs> yeah, he's breathing. You know? Some good stuff. You bet, and you can see, like, look at it on the spoon. That's how thick it is now. You can hold it upside down. Moist Wang has said it's it gazed into the dish, and the dish has gazed back. You can even see, now it's so thick, that there, there's parts where you can, right there, you can see to the bottom of the pot. It's not just flowing back into it. Well, we got to 11 viewers, so Jim is b -b -b blowing the fuck out. You know, and if we're, if we're maintaining a constant quality of viewer, that puts us at 
five hundred and fifty percent. Congrats on the victory day tonight there on cooking the surfer. So I'm gonna clean up that tuna I spilt there earlier and throw that one out. Game of the decade. Hands down, ace of spades. I love it. Rinse off the hands. Guys, you know we we rinse our hands here pretty frequently on cooking the surfer. You know you gotta keep the hands nice and clean while you're cooking. And you know, I might even rinse out these yeah, cans of tuna before it gets too late also. That's optional. Can be replaced, except expect to receive it in six to eight months after Susan Just gets make sure you get all the tuna off the sides. You know, that added little extra little bit that you could need. You know, the fork just couldn't scrape it off. You're just doing nothing but fly check. Just endless fly checks. I just don't know what else to do. You know, the stream is, it's, it's, a, it's just dreadful. We, this is perhaps the worst ever edition of Cooking with Surfers. <laughs> I mean, we got the best tuna. So, you know, it, it just makes it instantly better in the last bacon Because we got the right tuna this time. That's true. It's the, the Thon Blanc on more so. German Don's low. We're part of the weather core. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna study those weather systems together on our super secret screen at the end of the month. And you get a little a little amp. You know, this fairy and Playboy has declared that Jim is defeated. Those few viewers you guys have taken from Jim has made him a few dollars short from affording the minimum to uh to get his cancer aids medication. So <laughs> Jim is gonna die. Well, that's the real weather report. You know? PPP, is the tuna really that great? It really is. You know, you can see how the bacon carbonara is tonight. Have a nice light, light consistency. You know, you can see that the nice light color around the noodles and the sauce. And that's because of the tuna we use. We're just going to keep stirring. You can see as you stir, the steam comes out, which just thickens it. Thickens her even more. I find it interesting. going to bang off the spoon there. But how much, long, how much longer must we wait, sir? I'll give her another minute or so, you know, a couple minutes. Do anyone in the chat cook their own bacon carbonaries yet? About new gun laws. And so what is the democratic response? Hey, and if you have, what do you think? We're not going to door knock people. Does Murdoch Chin being doxxed and turning out to be almost 300 pounds hurt surfer? So the Democrats want to take the National Guard. That's impossible. That's not true. Because it's 75 counties. Who told you that? The majority of the fucking state. And I looked up the number, there are only 7,300. Sargoy says you're in denial. Well, I haven't seen it, you know, so it's not, it's not real. It's only real once I see it. You know? If it's so real, why don't you send it? Into the chat. And you guns, and you can't do shit about it. Suicide. Absolutely insanity. Anderil says the docs has been out for a few days. Sargoy says, poor fool. What do you th imagine that Murdoch Chan looks like in your mind there, sir? Just like she does in the cartoon. This might be its own viral video. Murdoch Chan fan discovers the sad awful yes. truth. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. He's having an existential well, crisis there, Anderil. Second Civil War, starting in the state of Virginia. I guess we can take a moment to talk about DSP and his apparent financial troubles. I don't know how he managed this. I'm actually somewhat stunned by it because there are people It's are not true. Documents. I, I, don't, I, I, I searched it on Google and I haven't found it. There you go, you fags. How dare you lie about based Murdoch Chan? The website says that's what she looks like. You see, that's what Murdoch Chan looks like there. It's not true. She's not overweight. Look at it. 
I don't know if we can show that on stream. We're probably going to get a strike for nudity, you idiot. But uh, that's okay, guys. Uh, I have to private this cooking with Surfer, but that's okay. It's a little bit itty bitty, really, isn't it? Well, it wasn't even real nudity. Spending a grand on that, there wouldn't be a mortgage left. <laughs> it was hard, buddy. <laughs> it was high art, high kino, yes, mmm. Oh, the high kino. <laughs> yes. Mm, yes, oh, oh, delightful. <laughs> Delectable indeed, oh. As the luck of Satan himself. I'm not sure what's going on. That's right. You know, it's a risk to stir up our bacon carbonara is there a little bit more, you know, let the, let the steam out. Anderil has said that Surfer almost threw himself out a window when he learned that Murdoch Chan was fat. Well, I haven't learned that yet. And I don't think I will learn that. I don't think that's true. You know, I don't believe it. Do you guys think a fucking Chad like Murdoch would date a fatty? Come on. Murdoch's just a fucking straight based Chad. Goes to the gym five times a week. Great. So, you know, it's probably about time to spoon out the carboneras. So, we're going to get a bowl here for PPP. Yeah, oh, that is very true. Oh, I'm sorry, I fucked it up. I said 10 year legacy. Somebody said, no, no, no. How many scoops do you think we should get PPP, chat? I need to get that right. Chat said 10 scoops. 10 scoops? We're not giving them 10 scoops. Give them one scoop. Yeah, very true. Two scoops. A lovely ass cut. Great name, by the way. Let me Three repeat scoops. That one. Susan. I want to make sure Get I get that ten. Powder down a little bit. Lovely ass cut. What are your thoughts on reptile culture? Three, four scoops. Culture. Is this what reptiles are we talking about? I'm thinking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles now. That must be the boomer in me. You hip kids. Don't Five scoops. Anymore. I, what are the zoomers? We'll what? give them. No, I'm, I'm keeping like, that. You, Jew. Colbert is watching the stream in envy of the fact I got more than two scoops. Oh, he's got more than present. Awful. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, here's that for you. So, any. Uh, this is how you get you a fork. <laughs> it's a good choice. You can try it for chat. All right. Oh, you're asking me what I think of lizard people? I find. I mean, I think we all know David Ike. Is that, is that the right one? I think they're the right one. He knows what's up. Out. Yeah, Jim is now pondering the existence of lizard people and David Ike. You know, and you can lick off the spoon. After you're done with the spoon, there's a lot of good stuff on the spoon, so you can lick it off. And overall, it's a 9 out of 10. Viewership has surged here at the end to 12 whole viewers. People have given up faith in Jim. That's what they're up to. Jim saw like one of the reptilians, though. Yeah, they know that this is the best program. What do you think, chat? Would you eat the, the tuna carboneras? Are we doing something here? You're throwing something out, it's going to spell something. You know, it would be kind of <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to... We had to use the dam. I can't believe it's not butter. I'm just going to assume... And you got a little bit of the good stuff on the... Him saying hello to his... his on the inside of the bag, too, so we knocked out. Foxtrot uniform, Charlie. Uh, Kilo. Break. Juliet Echo. You see, it got there from the spoon. Alpha Sierra. Break. <laughs> Mike, break. Alpha, Lima, Lima, break. <laughs> Kilo, Echo, Kilo, break. Chemo. Well, I guess that's, that's going to be about it. Well, I haven't even tried it yet. Well, it be over that one. Paul Lynch, Dave so you Jim. see, I get it here in the pot. Chemtrail makes holy smokes, Jimbo. And it's nice, you know, I've been looking forward to this all day. Okay, I've been like, just wage slaving 13 and a half hour days every day for like two weeks now, you know, and the end of a hard day's work, I 
Do you really look forward to my bacon carabiners, do you? <laughs> it makes me think of Elliot Roger. You know? Moist Lang says it's, it's tough. Years. It is tough. He, 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 he so you can chance. see you get a nice oh, bowl here. You get see that nice chunk of tuna right there? That's what you want. You want nice big chunks of tuna. Just like that. Makes it perfect. Sargoy says base server, D-Gen Jim. I understand. I did watch the Game Awards. They were fucking horrifically disappointing. The Xbox Series X looks like somebody's fucking modem router combination. <laughs> it doesn't look like a game console. It looks like some Comcast sent you in the mail. I'm not sure exactly what the design's aesthetic behind it. Generis P6900 <laughs> modem router combo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a weird reveal, just to show... Well, what do you rate it out of 10 there, sir? You know what, the tuna, it's a solid 9. It'd be, it would be better. It would be better if I had real butter instead of I can't believe it's not butter. Once again, I get rattled by that I can't believe it's not butter. But with that tuna, it's hard, it's hard to go wrong. It? It's pretty unreal. They're probably my favorite meal. Uh, from Trump Nation, come back to Bitwave, me, from Canon Common. Press F for all of... Walrus guy stuff. One one three six five seven. Thought you were dead, Jim. Get or enjoy. You know? Enjoy your two dollars, Susan. Big woke or big woke. Rip Gokunaru's death of H three. Sargoy is leaving. For moving videos talking about Virginia. Well, that's all right. Move. I mean, there was. I don't really have much else to say about it. To be honest with you. From the Ukraine. Well, uh, right, Jim. Finished, finished up and go to bed here shortly. Day. Wrote his name in the description on the road again. This has been Cooking with Surfer, episode 9. I would absolutely be ready in the next I couple days. Episode 10 is coming, now you have alternative and that one's going to be a milestone. It's going to be a, a special episode. You know, we're going to do a, a specialty, specialty meal for episode 10. You know, it's going to be more so iconic. You know, so in the next few days, I'll be coming up. Again, I think it has to do with... Cheers. There you go.